Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will solve one very interesting and comprehensive question based on body plot. Here, I will solve body plot using animations. By animations, you can easily understand body plot in short duration time. Here, in question, we need to draw body plot for given transfer function, as well as we need to identify gain crossover frequency, phase crossover frequency gain margin, phase margin and stability of this system. To identify body plot, in first step, we need to represent given transfer function in standard form. So in first step, we need to represent given transfer function in standard form. See in standard form, we need to represent all the poles and zeros in form of 1 plus s divided by something. So here you can observe in 0 we have s plus 3. So if you take 3 common, then here we will be having 1 plus s divided by 3. In denominator we have s and here we have 1 plus s. Here we have s plus 5. To represent s plus 5 in form of 1 plus s by 5, we need to take 5 common from here. So in standard form, here I have took 3 common from numerator, you can observe, and 5 common from denominator. So constant is 100 into 3 divided by 5, that is 16. And here we have standard form, that is there in form of 1 plus s divided by something. Once we have standard form, in second step, we need to identify slope of first line. Slope of first line is based on location of pole or zero at origin here you can observe with given system we have one pole at origin as we have one pole at origin first line slope will be minus 20 db per decade so in second step we need to identify slope of first line that is based on location of pole or zero at origin we have one pole at origin that's why slope of first line is minus 20 db per decade. If we have one zero at origin, then slope of first line should be plus 20 db per decade. If you have two poles at origin, then slope of first line should be minus 40 db per decade. Right. Now, in third step, we need to identify gain of first line at frequency 1 radian per second. This gain of first line at frequency 1 radian per second is based on constant. Here constant is 60 for standard form. So gain will be 20 log k. k is 60. So this gain at omega is equals to 1 radian per second for first line that will be 35.5 dB. Now we need to understand all corner frequencies. See here in this transfer function, if you observe, we have 0 at 3 radian per second. We have pole at 0 radian per second. We have pole at 1 radian per second. We have pole at 5 radian per second. So first of all, we need to write all the corner frequencies in ascending order. So here in frequency, lowest value is 0, then 1, then 3, and then 5. Now we need to list whether given frequency is pole or 0. So here you can observe we have 1, 0 at 3 and other are poles, right? One should know with single pole, slope is minus 20 dB per decade and with single 0, slope is plus 20 dB per decade. So you need to note down all those slopes. Now we need to identify resultant slope. See with first line, slope is minus 20 dB per decade. After that, with second line, we need to calculate slope as per previous line slope plus current line slope. So minus 20, minus 20, that will be minus 40. Here, minus 40 plus 20, that will be minus 20. Here, minus 20 minus 20 that will be minus 40 db per decade so that is how we need to make a table 
once we make a table we can plot gain plot one should know in border plot we have two different plots one is of gain and second is of phase gain plot procedure that we have done in phase plot based on transfer function we need to identify phase equation so first of all what we need to do is we need to place s is equals to j omega in this if you substitute s is equals to j omega in this then we can write phase for zeros phase is positive and for poles phase is negative if you observe the equation then here we have one pole at origin if you have one pole at origin then angle is minus 90 so for this s angle is minus 90 over here now you can observe here we have s plus 1 instead of s we are placing j omega and for pole angle is negative so here we have negative sign and angle will be tan inverse imaginary by real so imaginary that is omega divided by real that is 1 so that is minus tan inverse omega for this pole for this pole we have minus tan inverse imaginary is omega divided by real that is pi here we have 1 0 at s is equals to minus 3 if you place s is equals to j omega over here then for 0 angle is positive that will be tan inverse imaginary by real so that is omega by 3 so that is how we can make phase equation once you have phase equation you need to make a table of phase Randomly, you should be selecting frequencies. Like you should identify at least eight points. Like you can consider 0 0.1 omega radian per second, then 0.5, then 1, then 5 radian per second, then 10 radian per second. Likewise, just note down points and using calculator, identify this phase. So here you can observe I am listing frequencies. 0 0.1, 0 0.5, 0 0.15, and for this frequencies, I'll be calculating phase. That will be this only. I have done this calculation. You just check it in your calculator. This should be the phase for this frequencies. Here, at least you should be taking 10 points. So here, I'm taking few more points like 10 radian per second, 100, 500, and 1000 radian per second. And for this frequencies, I'll be identifying phase value right so if you observe the phase value that is listed over here once you make a table of phase and once you make a table of coronal frequencies you can plot gain plot and phase plot so here in border plot you can observe we have semi log paper see border plot is drawn in semi log paper so here in horizontal axis we have frequency and with vertical axis we have two separate plots one is of gain that is there in terms of db and second is of phase that is there in terms of degree right so you can observe in gain i have listed few values so here we have 60 then 40 20 0 minus 20 minus 40 minus 60 first of all i'll explain you how to have a plot of gain plot so first of all in gain plot we need to understand first line in first line calculation, I have told you slope is minus 20 dB per decade and frequency 1 radian per second is having value of gain that is 35.5 dB. So here, first of all, 1 radian per second that is this vertically and 35.5 dB that will be this point you can observe, right? That is gain at 1 radian per second. In gain plot, we need to plot first line that is having slope of minus 20 dB per decade. So you need to understand what is minus 20 dB per decade. See, decade means from here to here, one decade is there. And here you can observe from this point to this point, we will be having 20 dB. So from here to here, one decade and then go 20 dB down means this point and then stretch a line that will be minus 20 db per decade line right so this is what first line that we are plotting now you need to have that table of corner frequency so in corner frequency 
we have first corner frequency that is omega is equals to 1 radian per second. And this frequency is having slope of minus 40 dB per decade. So here we have 1 radian per second corner frequency. So what you need to do is you need to darken this line. So first of all, dark this line. Now from here onwards, slope is minus 40 dB per decade. So you need to go from here to here that is decade. And here to here, we have 40 dB. So if you stretch line from this point to this point, that will be having slope of minus 20, 40 dB per decade. Right. So this is light line initially. Now mark out corner frequency. So next corner frequency is 3. So here we have 3 radian per second. Now we need to dark this line. You can observe. Now with this corner frequency 3, we have resultant slope that is minus 20 dB per decade. So here from 3 to 3, we need to go. And from here, 20 dB down, that is this. And stretch a line from here. So you can observe 3 to 3, minus 20 dB per decade slope, that is this line. Then you need to identify corner frequency, that is phi, that is next corner frequency here. Then you need to dark this much line. Right. Now with respect to phi, now slope is minus 40 dB per decade. So from phi to phi, you need to go and then 40 dB down. That is somewhere over here, right? So here you can observe, we have minus 40 dB per decade slope line and you need to dark this line. Why the reason is, this is last line, right? So that is a we can plot gain plot. So one decade that you need to identify first, 1 to 1 or 2 to 2 or 3 to 3 or 5 to 5, that is one decade. Minus means you need to go down by that much dB. For example, if you have minus 20 dB per decade, then 1 to 1, then go down by 20 dB and then stretch a line, right? That is how you can identify minus 20 dB per decade, minus 40 dB per decade. And then after corner frequency, you need to dark the line. So this is gain plot, right? Now let me explain phase plot. So for phase plot, I have calculated this table, right? So first of all, you need to place these points. Like you can observe, omega is equals to 0.1 radian per second is having phase of minus 94.9. So that point will be somewhere over here, right? You can observe. Omega is equals to 0 0.5. So omega is equals to 0 0.5 means you see this is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, then minus 112.7, that point will be somewhere over here, right? Then omega is equals to 1 radian per second, that frequency is this, and phase is minus 127.9, that is somewhere over here, you can observe. After this point at omega is equals to phi, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So from here, we have phi radian per second and 154 that is somewhere over here. Then we have frequency 10. So after 1, here we have a 10 and value of phase that is minus 164.4 that will be somewhere over here. Then we have 100. So here we have 100 that is having 178.2, so it is not touching this minus 180. Then you can observe at 500, again it is not touching 180, that will be somewhere over here. And then 1000, that is having this frequency over here. Once you note down the points, you just need to join this, you can observe. So this is phase plot. Now in this phase plot, if you observe, this line that is not touching 180 degree, minus 180 degree that is not getting crossed over over here. What it means? It means here we have phase crossover frequency that is infinite. If you observe gain crossover frequency, then with respect to 0 dB, we need to see crossover. So crossover happens somewhere over here. So that is gain crossover frequency. 
Gain crossover frequency is somewhat 9.9 .9 radians per second. Approximated value will be there with you, right? At gain crossover frequency, if you stretch straight line over here, then we have phase margin. So this is phase margin. So here there are a few basics that you need to understand. See, phase crossover frequency is infinite. Gain crossover frequency that is 10. What it means? It means here phase crossover frequency is greater than gain crossover frequency means given system is stable. Right. One more thing that you need to understand. See, phase crossover frequency is infinite, means gain margin is infinite. And as we have a stable system, phase margin and gain margin both are positive. So always remember, if phase crossover frequency is greater than gain crossover frequency, then system is stable, right? And for stable system, phase margin and gain margin both are positive. Here, gain crossover frequency that happens at 0 dB and phase crossover frequency that happens at minus 180 degree. That one should know, right? So here in stability, as we have phase crossover frequency that is greater than gain crossover frequency, given system is stable. And for stable system, phase margin is also positive and gain margin is infinite. Why? The reason is phase crossover frequency is infinite, right? So this is how one can understand border plot. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Still, if any confusion is there, just place that in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.